As we are learning the latest out of California, many of you who are parents might be trying to figure out just how you can talk with your children about what happened there. Two Works You reporter Joe Hankey met today with a Tulsa psychologist about what can be a very delicate conversation, Joe. Well, Karen, experts I talked with today and also in the past following other tragedies all agree. They say parents should be prepared to talk with their children, but unless the child brings it up uh, with Sam Bernardino and the shooting there or other tragedies, you shouldn't force a conversation. There are certain things that we can talk to them about, like don't run across the street or talk to strangers. But these kinds of things are really hard for parents and it makes their anxiety increase. Tulsa psychologist Dr. Julie Powell Thomas says a conversation about the tragedy in California or other mass shootings can be easier if you let your child take the lead. Because it's not brought to your attention and it's not in their reality zone, I don't think you need to go, hey, there was a, a shooting and, and so on. I don't think you do that as a parent. But for children who do come across images from yesterday's shooting, Thomas says give them enough information to answer their questions, but it might not be best to tell them everything you know as an adult. But your ability to sit down and say, okay, what's worrying you about it, taking the lead from your child, mm -hmm. that's really the best way of going through a lot of these kinds of questions. And as the most gruesome images from tragedies often pop up online, making sure your child visits websites and follows social media accounts fit for their age is extremely important. You want your child to be appropriately in a world where, at their age group, where they don't have to fear anything that they're not ready to understand. Finally, depending on what your child asks, if it is clear they have seen the reality of what took place, try to help them understand what it means without raising their anxiety. This is the kind of world we live in. We can't protect everyone from that, and we have to inoculate kids to some degree that and we'll talk about this, and it is what it is, but you're safe here. Mm -hmm. You're safe at our house. We'll take care of you and protect you as best we can. Now at her practice, Tulsa Family Development Center, Dr. Thomas says she hears from parents dealing with one common problem. Their child sees something online they shouldn't have, and then the parents are then scrambling to respond, which is why she says it's important to take preventative steps up front. Joe Henke, Two Works For You.